Hello YouTube, it's Kim Pocalypse and today I'm going to review an OLED 55C6P TV which is the curved OLED and it's also a 3D TV which is an added plus if you're like me and you like just, you know, little odds and ends extras. So let's get to it. Here it is in all its glory. This is an OLED TV. OLED is probably one of the best uh, TVs on the market right now, uh, picture wise. Um, I'm going to show you this little video. It's actually, um, this is not going to be a copyright because uh, it's an actual OLED LG demo vid. And this video is somewhat really awesome. And of course you have the commercials before you got the, you know how it goes. Now this TV is super bright, super detailed, super, I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, there's a little bit of glare on my phone, but that in no way glares off the TV at all. I mean, it is so, I don't know how to describe it. It's so colorful. The blacks are blacks. The colors are colorful. The detail in this, in this video is just so unreal. Um, it's the best I've seen, even for like a computer monitor, and I've seen some very, very detailed 4K computer monitors. This TV gives it a run for its money. I mean, I, I haven't seen anything like it. And of course, you know, um, with 4K, um, you got Netflix, which uh, I dare to show a Netflix video on here because copyright strikes, you know how it goes. But the the color the detail the vibrancy the 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 darks are dark the the colors are colorful i mean it's just unbelievable uh another thing also is this tv is besides being very expensive this tv is a 3d tv which i can uh, i can back out now and show you sorry my camera's a little a little wobbly today but uh, the thing I like about this is the the actual, like, you got your controller that uses a pointer. Here's your last stuff. Here's Netflix, Amazon, everything. This comes up as your details and stuff. This right here, of course, shows you that's your quick apps for your, not your quick apps, but your quick settings for picture and stuff. Now you don't have to use the pointer. You can you can just use the 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 little D pad on here. And I got mine set to vivid and, and like I said it's it's three D. All kinds of uh all kinds of features. The sound it's got smart sound to where it gets louder and um uh louder and softer with uh whatever the picture is. Uh, channel settings, networks. Um, this is very important. I want to show this. When you have a Xbox One S or a UHD player or anything hooked up to this TV, you have to go into this ultra deep color settings. And what is awesome about this TV is this is for like when you have an ultra high def player or you have a PlayStation Pro hooked to it or a uh, Xbox One S with a UHD player. This one has all three of its HDMI puts or actually you can turn them on to ultra deep color. Uh, a lot of the Samsung TVs do not even do that. And uh, let me show you a couple other things here. You can always go back to your thing. You can always go back to the previous thing you want. This is the LG content store. Um, you can actually go in and rent movies and everything and if it's not on here It could actually show you where to watch them like this one. You can watch it on Amazon Vudu or um, uh, Fandango and uh, Everything that you switch over it actually tells you where you can watch it. This is an awesome TV and I know I keep saying that but I I've been through a lot of TVs in my time and I always try to go for the biggest and the best because um, 
you know, I like a good picture. I like to get involved in my movies and stuff like that. But the thing is, you can't always afford, like this is an OLED. You can, a lot of people can't afford it. So, you know, I've had TVs like Samsung's that were cheaper than this. I've had Hisense, which I've done reviews on. Um, I've had other LG's, which are, you know, some of them doesn't look great. The, the OLED is probably the best one out of the LG's that you can get. And then I've had Sony where, you know, Sony was good at one time and then they went down. It looks like they're making a comeback now. But uh, the one to watch out for right now is actually Hisense. And I'm not knocking this TV one bit. I own this TV. This is my TV. I love it. I love the colors and sound and everything. But Hisense is a big up-and-comer. If you want to watch uh, some of my previous videos, I'll go ahead and I'll tag them in the, at the end of this video. But uh, anyway, for for you people that's looking to get into something that's this is this is expensive. I'm not going to lie to you, but something that you really want to bring out the thousand nit in your uh, UHD movies, which a thousand nit is is really the minimum that you can have to for the the actual movie to look like it's supposed to on UHD. Now the reason I say that is because if you have a UHD player or an Xbox One S. If you have a, a knit TV that is lower than 500, when you start playing that movie, it's going to it's gonna make it look dark and dull. And that is not the player's fault. That's actually the TV that you're on. Now, a lot of people don't realize that. A lot of people's like, well, this, this UHD player, that's the screensaver. A lot of people's like, well, this UHD player is horrible. No, it's not the UHD player. It's not the Xbox One S. But when the HDR kicks on, um, it makes it dark and dingy because it's trying to overcompensate for it not having the thousand nits that's supposed to. This TV right here is a thousand nits, and uh, a nits is it, it's it's the amount of light that is actually shown through. But uh, another point I want to bring up about this TV. This will be my last point. This TV also supports Dolby Vision, which is actually superior to HDR10. And the reason I say that is HDR10 analyzes right at the beginning of a movie, and that's the way it is the whole movie. Dolby Vision analyzes every second of the movie to make the colors brighter, more vibrant, and your HDR to stand out. Um, Dolby Vision is more expensive to use in like a TV, um, because you have to buy the copyright, of course, from Dolby. Um, but LG did that, and I'm going to tell you what. Uh, this plays Netflix through Dolby Vision, and I've seen Netflix played through HDR10, and the Dolby Vision is so much more colorful, so much more crisp. And, uh, I mean, I recommend Dolby Vision. Hopefully they'll upgrade the HDR10 to where, you know, it, it looks like this, where it will analyze every every so many seconds to uh, make the picture better. But as for now, it does not. But uh, this is Ken Pop Lips, and I appreciate you watching my video. Hit like, subscribe to my uh, channel, and share my videos, and I'll have some more for you soon. Thank you.